Hello everyone. Today we will learn about the life history of insects and their habits and behaviors. Let's look at the life history and generations of insects, as well as dormancy and diapause. First, let's look at the life history and generations of insects. The life cycle of generations of insects begins from egg to larvae, pupa to adult. Includes the autogenetic process of producing offspring. The whole process is called a generation. The length of insect generations varies from species to species. Some insects have only one generation per year, such as tea weevils and tea branch sickle moth. Some insects can have several generations per year, such as tea geometrid or green leaf hopper. For some insects, it takes two years or several years to complete a generation, such as longicore beetle. It takes two years to complete a generation. The insect generation is called the first generation, the second generation, and so on. Usually, according to the occurrence of the egg stage in the current year, the overwintering eggs left the previous year and hatched in the spring are traditionally referred to as the first generation of the year. The overwintering larvae, pupa, and adults left from the previous year cannot be called the first generation of the current year, but the last generation of the previous year or the overwinter generation. The overwintering eggs can only be called the first generation of the current year. Let's look at dormancy and diapause. Due to the adverse environmental conditions, the growth and development of insects stagnate. Hibernation at low temperature. Is called overwintering. Hibernation at night temperature is called oversummering. Stagnation has two conditions: dormancy and diapause. Dormancy refers to that insects are physiologically prepared before adverse environmental conditions come. They accumulate more fat and sugar in the body, decrease respiratory intensity during dormancy, and decrease metabolism. As soon as environmental conditions return to normal, they will resume growth and development. Diapause refers to a hereditary characteristic formed by long-term adaptation of insects to adverse environment. Diapause can occur before adverse environment appears, or without truly adverse environmental conditions. Once entering diapause, a long period of diapause period must elapse. Even after appropriate conditions are given, growth and development cannot be resumed immediately. Therefore, diapause of insects has certain hereditary stability. Dormancy and diapause, an insect's skillful adaptation to adverse environment. Insects in dormancy and diapause period have increased resistance to adverse environment. So, these factors must be considered when using insecticides. And taking other measures to control pests, then we will learn the habits and behaviors of insects. Insects can actively adjust and adapt to the complex and changing external environment in their life activities to produce corresponding behaviors. They are a series of reflex activities that occur after the insect nervous system. Receive some stimulation information from the outside world. They are summarized as four characteristics. Behavior periodicity refers to the phenomenon that the life activities of insects show a certain time rhythm, such as the circadian rhythm and seasonal rhythm. Insects also show a specific rhythm when to overwinter and awaken in the year. People often call this rhythm the biological clock. Or insect clock, two taxes, which refers to the uncontrollable response of insects to external factors. The tendency of stimuli is called positive taxes, and the negative chemo taxes is called negative taxes. The taxes of insects mainly includes photo taxes, chemo taxes, thermo taxes. Hygrotaxis and so on. Phototaxis and chemotaxis are the most common. Taxis is widely used in pest control. Most nocturnal insects show positive phototaxis, 
to light, and negative phototaxis to sunlight. Generally, short wave light has a particularly strong trapping force on insects. Backlight lamps are commonly used to trap paths for centralized illumination, and for past occurrence prediction, such as T inco war and black cut war. Chemotaxis, the impulsive response of insects to volatile chemicals, is called chemotaxis. Whether attract or avoid, it can only work through the olfactory system. Insects identify the host. Mainly by some kind of signaling smell emitted by the host, attractants and repellents are used according to the pest response to chemotaxis or evasion of chemicals. Three collectivity refers to the habit of large numbers of individuals of the same species gathering together in high density, according to its nature. It is divided into two types: clustering and aggregation. Clustering it is often the result of large number of individuals gathering or multiplying in a limited space. Aggregation usually associated with the migration of insects to other habitats and of an instinctive nature. Four, feign death, is an important defense method for some insects. That is, insects instinctively fall to the ground from a tree or stay put, which is called feign death. Some insects will immediately enter the feign death when are suddenly shocked. This is a simple, unconditional reflex. It's the self-defense adaptability of insects and can effectively avoid enemies such as tea beetles and scarabs. That's all for this lesson. Thank you.